So employers and recruiters are telling you that you don't have enough relevant experience. What do you do? This is such a common challenge for job seekers. I think I can honestly say that we've all been there. It can happen either at the start of your career when you're finishing your degree and looking for your first real job, or it can also happen later in your professional life when you decide to switch to a different industry or try out a new career and the recruiter is telling you that they're looking for someone with more experience in their industry. Let's talk about the two most common things job seekers say when they're trying to prove that lack of experience does not stop them from being a great fit for the job and why those two things don't work. The most common thing I hear job seekers say is I'm a fast learner. And that makes sense. You think that you can make up for your lack of experience in a specific industry or in a, sp in a certain area by learning things really, really quickly on the spot. The problem is that statement alone does not prove that it's true. Not to mention that everyone says that. Anyone can come into an interview and say that they learn really, really quickly. How would the employer or recruiter know that that is actually true? Most employers want you to be a pro. They want you to hit the ground running right from the start. And if the employer has to choose between two candidates who are equally qualified and equally capable to do the job, but one of those applicants can produce results faster, of course, the employer would be more likely to choose that person. So what can you say instead? Highlight your transferable skills. Those are the aspects of your expertise, your personality and your style of work that are equally valuable and useful both in your previous role and in the job that you're hoping to get at this point. Let's say you've worked in purchasing and one of the most important parts of that job was negotiating contract terms with suppliers, vendors, other third parties, whoever else. And now you're hoping to transfer into sales where you'll need to negotiate with clients. So when you're going into that job interview, make sure to highlight your negotiation experience and show results that prove that you are indeed a great negotiator. And now the second most common thing job seekers say when they're trying to prove lack of experience is not an issue is, but I have a degree instead, or I have this other academic credential. And don't get me wrong, a degree, a certification, or any other sort of credential is indeed an asset and you deserve a ton of respect for investing your time, money and effort into obtaining that. But if you've ever used that argument, you've probably noticed that employers don't quite value equally real work experience and academic credentials. Of course, you can use your degree or your credential as a highlight or as a way to demonstrate that you're committed to the transition that you're making or to the choice of this specific industry or this specific capacity. But what can you do to sound more compelling? First, share real stories from your previous work experience or your academic experience as well that demonstrate relevant soft skills. Those soft skills that will make you a valuable member of the team and help you be extremely productive in that specific job that you're applying for. Also, don't forget that volunteering or other experience doing side projects or your own initiatives is also a great resource that you can draw from to build that link between what you have to offer and what the company is looking for and prove that there are other aspects of your personality and your skill set that are directly applicable to the position that you want to fill. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and follow me on LinkedIn for more videos like this. If you have any questions about job interviews, please share them in the comments below. Thanks and see you next time.